I'm Laura from Garden Sanity and today's video is just to show you how quick and easy it is to tidy up your daffodils by deadheading the ones that are dying. Once the flowers are shriveling up, sometimes they form seed pods and it's good to just trim those off. Let's get started. So there's three reasons you should deadhead your daffodils. The first is the seed pods and I'll talk about those in a minute. The second is bulb energy. We want all the energy to go into making next year's bulbs as good as possible. And that means diverting any attention from growing seed pods or still trying to keep dead flowers going, anything like that. And the third reason is just aesthetically, they're not so attractive looking when they die. These are still pretty, we can leave those. These guys, they should probably go. So seed pods are one of the main reasons you want to deadhead your daffodils. And as you can see with these guys, that's what this is right here. These are all the seed pods. And the red devons seem to have a lot of them. And it's going to be as simple as cutting it right here, or here, or here. But basically you want to cut below where any of the seed pod and blooms are. You don't want to cut the stem all the way down because it'll help this stem along with the leaves helps provide energy to the bulbs, which you want to continue for at least six weeks. And that'll be another video about what to do after your daffodils are done blooming and after you deadhead them. Although I'm not ready to cut off the yellow and white cheerfulness daffodils yet, I did want to show you that what their seed pods look like. You can see them right there. So they're not as pronounced as some of the larger daffodils like the red devons I showed you. But nonetheless, you'll want to take those off too. And again, it'll be cutting them, you know, right here. That's all you need to do, very quick. So with miniature daffodils, you don't need to deadhead them at all. As you see here with these tete-a-tetes as a good example, the brown tips, they're just gonna blow off the, in the wind by themselves. Any seed pods are on the brown part as it is, so you don't have to worry about it, which actually makes cleanup pretty nice. <laughs> it's another reason I think tete-a-tetes are a great daffodil for beginners. You don't even have to worry about deadheading. Now here's another good example. These uh, are remnants of Cragford daffodils. And as you can see, those seed pods that are developing are on the brown part. So again, that makes it super easy. Cut it right there. So here's a bunch of red Devon daffodils that once looked so pretty just a couple of weeks ago as you can see here. They were standing tall, protecting my Rosa Sharon, but now they need to be cut. And as you can see, it's this guy right here. See this? That's the seed pod. And that's what needs to be cut off. Boy, this looks so much nicer, doesn't it? And the daffodil leaves and stems can still play 
their sentry roll to guard my beautiful lavender chiffon, Rosa Sharon. So I know what you're asking. The next question, of course, is when do you cut down these daffodils? That's gonna be another video, but in short, the answer is to wait at least six weeks. And again, I've got a video coming on that, so stay tuned. For now, enjoy the greenery and know that the greenery, by staying up, is helping nourish the bulb under the ground. Until next time, happy gardening.